First at 10, two people are expected to be charged with carjacking, resulting in death in the case of Catherine Aguas Vivas. Look at your screen here. You'll see the two people who are now in custody on unrelated charges. West News Haley Crumbleholm explains how law enforcement connected them to the case. The green Acura at the scene of the carjacking has been key in connecting people to this case. It helped law enforcement find another car and another suspect. It's about drugs and money. That's what Sheriff Dennis Lima suspects the motive drills down to in the deadly carjacking of Catherine Aguas Vivas. The sheriff announced Tuesday two people are expected to be charged federally with carjacking resulting in death. One, Kevin Ocasio Justiniano, was arrested on unrelated charges Monday. This photograph is a photograph of him being arrested yesterday by the U.S. Marshals in Puerto Rico. He says Ocasio Justiniano goes by the street name Kivo, and he came to their attention early in the investigation. When the green Acura seen at the carjacking was caught on camera at an apartment complex it was later towed from. The same camera caught a red Toyota Corolla picking up people in the Acura. The plate on the Corolla ultimately came back to a relative of Kivo's. They say cell phone records put him and Jordanish Torres Garcia at the scene of the carjacking. Torres Garcia is also expected to be federally charged in the case. He was arrested on unrelated charges last week. I believe it's Kivo driving the green Acura and Jordan holding the gun at the window, committing the kidnapping. A third person turned themselves in on unrelated charges Monday. Giovanni Crespo Hernandez. Crespo Hernandez made his initial appearance in court Tuesday after a search of his Seminole County home found drugs and suspected stolen property, according to the sheriff's office. They believe he is the last person to have spoken to Aguas Vivas and that he is the one she was traveling to Seminole County to meet. But he is not expected to be charged with carjacking resulting in death, just Torres Garcia and Ocasio Justiniano. While these are significant pieces of the puzzle, they may not be the final ones. There's a lot of evidence that really hasn't even come back on this yet. In Seminole County, Haley Crumble Home, West 2 News. The sheriff also said today Aguas Viva's husband and brother are no longer cooperating. West 2 continues to follow every twist and turn in this bizarre case. To see a complete timeline of the investigation going back to the sale of this green Acura, just go right now to West.com.